this is our record breaker workshop and we are going to break records of champion and our goal is to help you today come up with some great ideas that you can use to break some records are you not excited about what Tupperware is offering right now i mean are we not excited champion <laughs> have a debt free Christmas and we want a debt free Christmas right champion yeah. all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna share with you a ton of ideas from every director has come with an idea today to share with you to how to pull in some sales maybe some dating some recruits right now to grow your business so how do you do it a champion let's find out our very first one is Lydia Sotla director Mike Lydia, Mike's up there behind you. Whoa, we had the voice. The voice. <laughs> All right. Hi, Rocket Region. All right. Um, my idea is for everybody that you may not have those um, people handy. You might be new and you might need to meet some people. Get a name badge, wear it when you go out because that will make you feel a little bit more professional. It will keep you aware. First impressions. Um, but carry catalogs, sale flyers. Make sure when you have those, they're showing because you will um, gain attention with those. And then make sure that you have a little post-it note on the front of your catalog. You don't wanna just hand them out. You wanna get the information back. So that makes it very simple for you to remember and get their person's name, phone number, and that so you can call them back. But do a drawing. And let them know that you're going into their drawing for all the new people that you're meeting this month. And you'll get lots and lots of new leads that way for parties, recruits, and whatever else. Awesome. So what do you usually give away in your drawing? Whatever I have on hand. It doesn't need to be anything real big, like past dating gifts, things like that. There'll be one winner for something bigger, but then and you're going everybody to call wins. Yes. everyone back because everybody is a winner. They may not get the first prize, but they're going to get a gift, and it could be a citrus peeler, or whatever that you want to give them like that, but you want to contact everyone and, and call them back. And, and the word choice is me. You didn't win the first prize and the grand prize, but guess what? You won the second. And yes. everybody can win the second, because there's lots of them. <laughs> All right, Absolutely. way to go. Thank you, Lydia. All right, and next we have Maureen. Come on, Maureen. All right, Maureen's gonna share with us an idea that you can do to build your business. Hi, Racket Region. This is Maureen. Um, I just want to share a real quick tip for you. It's for a party. If you have any small um, gift bags, just put a date on the outside and a little past dating gift, a little water bottle or something. Put If you have the closest date, I usually put a bigger gift in there. And then the one, like, two, three weeks out, I'll put a bigger or a smaller gift in it. And then they can open it the night of the party. But then um, I take it home. So they date and hold their party. So I'll give it to them at the night of the party. Okay, so the day of the party when they date, you write their name on that little note. Yes. And so you don't hold that for them at for at their party when their party's held on the original day. They get to open yes. their present and find out what's in it, but it's a secret until then. Yes. They can only take it and shake and it. And I get them all excited, like, yes, yeah. they can shake it and <laughs> feel it. And I know. Yeah. Yes. Don't let this fool you. She's a crazy girl. <laughs> and that is so fun. And I want to applaud Maureen. She's this close to getting her Disney dream. Yes. Yes. That is so cool, Maureen. We're cheering for you, okay? All right. All right. All right. And next we have Nancy Lagan. Come on down, Nancy Lagan. Oh, great ideas. Oh, get ready to write notes. Oh, gosh. Hi, Rocket Region. This is Nancy Lagan, and I want to tell you that I'm all about meeting the people and going out because that's where people are. They're in the parking lots after the grocery store. They're, they're out with their kids running around. So what you want to do is I take a little basket, but this time I'm just going to put the stack cooker, which is only $30 for a new recruit as a welcome gift. I'm going to take the cold brew. It's a brand new product. And I'm going to take the power chef and the chop and prep. That's it. A little basket, books in the back, lead slips on a little clipboard, and also citrus peelers and straws. So if you meet somebody with kids, give them a straw. The person in the car is going to hate you all the way home because they're going to blow that straw all day. But they're going to remember that the Tupperware lady gave their child a straw. 
So what I do is I carry this little basket and I go up to people when they're putting their groceries in the car. Or, and I don't go near the store, okay? Don't go by the door, because you might get in trouble, you know, you can't solicit. Um, so I walk up to people and say, hi, I'm Nancy from Tupperware. And I dress very casual, so they don't think I'm some corporate person walking around, then they're gonna really spot me. So I dress, you know, like I would be going shopping. And I go up to a person and I say, hi, I'm Nancy from Tupperware, and Tupperware has asked us to go out in the field and meet new people. And we have some brand new products, our cold brew, is a brand new product from Tupperware, and have you seen our little chopping prep? And I pull the cord, okay, just to show them what's new. They, It's not new, but to them it is pretty much new. And then what I do is I say, you know what, Tupperware's asked us to do some survey parties. And so if you would open up your home, um, or you can come to my home, or to our beautiful studio, and you can have two to three people just around a table, and I'm gonna cook dinner for you. I'm gonna make you a meal in the stack cooker that you can get for $30 right now if you join our team. You can check out the Chop and Prep and the Power Chef. One of each of them is in our opportunity kits. And I'm gonna make you some cold brew. And just taste it and see what you think. And do the survey for Tupperware. And I only need 10 people this week, so you're my fourth one if you decide to do it. So you cheat a little bit, okay? Everybody's your fourth one or fifth one or whatever. Because they don't know. But what it is, if they all say no, you now have confidence to go out and do it again. And if you do it again and again and again, you can't stop at one time. It works, it really works. It's worked for me for years. All right, so don't be afraid of the no, right? Right. right. Because it, you won't bleed, it won't, it won't hurt. No. It doesn't hurt. When it's, when it's over, it's over. You just go on, right? Right, because you pretend you have olive oil all over your body, and then what you do is any nose, it just rolls right off. All right. <laughs> and the nose stands for next? Opportunity. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, next we have Jenny Fia. Yay, Jenny. Hi, Rocket Region. Um, so I have gone friend finding with Nancy, and she really does do all that crazy stuff. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet, and that's okay. I can get there. But there are people that you talk to every day that kind of have to talk to you. They don't have to talk to you in a parking lot, but those people behind the bank counter and behind the post office counter, people behind counters are getting paid to be nice to you. So if you have, <laughs> they are. So if you have our new catalog with you all the time and you're talking to them and I say things like, hey, we just got this new catalog and I have my own business and I really appreciate it. I'm trying to hand out 10 catalogs every day. So if you'd take one and that would be great. And wait, I have this thing I can fill out so that I can tell um, who I handed them out to. And then I look and, and okay, like Nancy said, you're my fourth one. I'll go, oh, I don't have any more of those slips with me. Can I get your name and just a number I can text real quick so that I can thank you for taking my book with you? That way you have their name and their contact information. You've given them a catalog and then you can call them back in a little bit and ask them if they've had a chance to look at it. All right, and she does do that too because I hear her do that and I'm always so proud of her because she's stretching out of her comfort zone. Was that, was that the easy the first time? No. No, <laughs> but she's so good at it. And we have guests come to our events because of this and she's got people on her team because of these very same um, creative ideas that she's doing, all right? And what happened when you got to know? I asked somebody else. All right, yes, <laughs> next opportunity. Right, so thank you, Jenny. And next we got our Lori Morris. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, Rocket Region, it's Lori. So we're in craft season right now, right? Everybody's booking their craft season, yeah. their bazaars, their craft shows. So do something, and I call it seal the deal. So take some of your, maybe not premium products, uh, Fridge Smart, a large Fridge Smart, a Vent and Serve, a That's a Bowl, and put your available dates on the um, seal, okay? And you wanna pull your dates in close, so you put your available dates, and when you're out and you're talking at craft shows, you offer those dates to, to your people that you meet because we don't ask, we offer, right? And then when they have their party or their survey or their cooking class, you give them the bottom to match the seal. Okay? So cute, right? And when we do the craft shows, we don't bring all the stuff that we have in our garage and make it look like a garage sale. We focus on dating, recruiting, and just getting out and talking to people, building up our newsletter, right? right. So seal the deal and, and do it that way. That is so cute, Lori. Yay. Oh my goodness, I've been in Tupperware for one and a half years. And <laughs> I don't know if I'm you should try it. it. You yeah, should try I it. should try that. 
I love that idea. It's so, so cute. Thank you, Lori. You like that rocket? Send us some love. All right. Thank you, Lori. And next, next we have Loretta DeSanto Tiber. This is your organization leader of the year in North America. Woo! Hello, Rocket Region. How many guys would love a party within a week, right? The wild party? Uh, you know what? They're not going to come to you. They're not going to call you tomorrow and say, I want to party tomorrow. So we need to go to them. So how about a back office, back office happy hour party? Do you guys know teachers? They all have an office room, right? Um, a spouse, wherever they work, take the party to them. Go in there and do a back office happy hour party. It's really that quick. Go in there, do your appetizers. You can do a staff cooker, a multi-cooker, the grill, whatever you want. You have the cold brew tastings, back office happy hour party. All right, and you know, Loretta, I know you've done this a lot of time, even for a fundraiser, for the office staff to raise Absolutely. funds for Make-A-Wish, for yes, ALC, for, yes, you go into the office, and they love it because they feel like it's a double whammy. They're getting their supplies. And I'll tell you something, the offices love it because they feel like they're helping their employees enjoy their lunch and have a little perk per for their I lunch. Have, I have the, the, the uh, teachers, every year they come, I go in every October. Because you know what? They don't want to go home and then go somewhere else. They've been working all day long. So you bring the party to them. Perfect idea. Way to rock it, rock it, Regent. That's going to work. Thank you, Loretta. Next, we have our adopted champion, Kevin. We have shared parenting with Wendy. And we love him. Go, Kevin. Yay. Hey, rock it, Regent. It's Kevin. So this is a cute idea that you can do at your party or live on Facebook. So you just do a little bag with some dates that you want to work and you're going to sell a $75 product. That, that's with the dollar value because we have $75 pool. So they can choose $75 for the product when they date a party. Then you're gonna take the little card off of there and then you're gonna flip it over and put all their information on the card. And then you're gonna take that home and then should remind yourself that that's the person that dated that party. And then they're gonna be able to choose $75 when they pick that date and you uh, control your date book by this way because they don't get to choose their date. They take your dates. Hey, Kevin. Way to go. Great idea. Hey. This is just, is your head exploding? I hope you're writing down like crazy. Although you could replay. <laughs> yeah. And send us love. All right. Next we have Mendel Franklin. All right, Mendel. Lots of years of great experience. You're going to love it. Hi, Rocket Regent. My idea is very simple and very basic. You all have a house. So I love to do open houses this time of the year. So just invite them in your house. Do a cooking class. Do anything that you are passionate about and just open it to your house. You know, if you're new in the business, you invite people. If you're established in the business, you've got some people you can always invite. And at this time of the year, with our new catalog and our new sale flyer, just you can do a reveal catalog party, open your house, and then you'll get the datings that way. So and you can do it any day of the week that works for you, so you are in control of that. Good luck. All right, thank you, Manel. Great idea. And you know what? Always, always, always at your Tupperware parties, I would always tell people, if you want to be invited to my open house, put a star on your order form in the top right corner, and they would do that. And then at, you know, at open house season, I would pull them all my order forms out and then just send those quick invitations to let them know it's open house time, and you can come and see all the new product lines. And so start doing it now and plan your open house, not only for the, uh, in October, first week, but also plan and your open house to be held another one in uh, December because it's always fun to show off your Christmas tree. And we're ready for Jessica. All right, Jessica, share with us our director, Jessica, amazing, amazing cyber queen here. Uh, really good on social media. What are you going to share with us? Exactly what I'm going to share with you guys today something for your social media. So everyone has a cell phone, right? And those of you at a studio today, don't forget to take those beautiful pictures with all the products that are displayed. Or if you're not in a studio today, um, the products at your home, or also use Top Social because they have lots of amazing pictures also on Top Social. So I have some more choices for you guys that um, you may want to write down or you can watch the replay. So this is what you're going to post with your picture. All right. Um, let's hear. So I'd love to help you create this look in your home, office, pantry, cabinets, whatever you choose. Comment yes please and I'll message you more details that easy so you're just going to private message them and party plan with them and date those parties oh my goodness that is so powerful and you know that's an open invitation and that's what social media is about if you give them all the facts on a picture they're not going to call you back they know but if you give them oh what's going on they want to know they want to know all right next we have oh is this a choosy it is all right let's walk out. we've got amy and nikki way to go champion directors 
Okay, so first of all, you're gonna go, um, this is uh, themes, and um, you're gonna go to like the store, like the grocery store, or like Rite Aid, or anywhere that has magazines, and you're gonna look at the magazines, and you're gonna look and see what is in style, and what everyone is looking for, and right now, it's pumpkins, so Nikki is gonna take that, and um, tell you how to use that. So right now, we have the cold brew, which is new, so it's fun to use. If you have the cold brew, you're gonna take a selfie with it, if you don't have the cold beer, it's okay. You can go to like your local coffee shop and take a picture with your coffee cup, a selfie. And then with that, you're gonna say, what a surprise for me by letting me know if your pumpkin spice yay or nay. And then every time someone comments on that yay or nay, you're gonna send them a private message and the surprise they want is a party with you. All right, a private coffee party could be. Yeah, they like coffee and hey, you want free tasting. All right, for you and three friends. <laughs> if you get six, it's okay. All right, <laughs> thank you guys, thank you. All right, and next we have Pam Kelly. And wherever Pam said it's a party. Gotta love her. Well, that's really what my uh, my thing is, All right, actually. Dude. Uh, so I do like to go out and uh, make contact with people, and that's how I find my parties is being out around the people. I know a lot of the girls do social media, but I find face-to-face -face is better, so any place that I can stick a table out, whether it's a um, beauty salon or uh, ice skating rink, uh, bowling alley, and I will ask them for uh, their permission, of course, and or even a craft show or a vendor event, but be prepared, that's my other tip, is be prepared to actually data party and the reason why I have my water bottle clutching here is because I want to make sure that I'm going to upgrade and say hey if you have a party with me I will upgrade and give you a free water bottle or offer anything that would be like something you already have like something you maybe won or earned that if you have a party with me you can you can get this for free I love it. I love it. And that's one of the things we love about Champion Enterprises, and I bet it's the same with you too, Rocket Region. You have an entire room here today with everybody with their own style, and you're going to fit in somewhere. Find that person that relates to you the most. And it may well be Pam Callahan, or it might have been Nikki and Amy. Who knows? But I will tell you, find your niche and fill it, all right? And I want to share with you, we've got somebody else coming up right now. Thank you, Pam. Gina Flower, an amazing speaker and friend. Gina Flower, working at business and moving fast. Hi, Rocket Region. Okay, so my idea is a little bit different. What I want you to do is I want you to go out and find people that you know that need to make a little extra money. And you're thinking, hmm, how does that equate to a party? Well, you're gonna invite them to be a happy helper. Now, closer to the holidays, you call it a holiday helper. But right now, I just need happy helpers. And you load them up with five to 10 catalogs and the order forms, and you ask them to go out for one week and collect as many orders as they can. And instead of getting the Tupperware, you're giving them the profit the commission. Are you willing to give up your commission to have a thousand dollar party and to have all that free Tupperware? But the best part about that is, is not the free Tupperware that you're getting, but when they make that money, what do you think happens? They want to sell Tupperware. They want to join your team. So not only are you getting the sales that you want in a week, you're getting new recruits. So get out there and do it. I love it, always recruiting, uh, recruiting, recruiting. That's her style, I love it. Let me ask you, um, you are brand new in the business because you've been here for about how long now? A year, already a director. How many people do you have on your team? Um, I have, oh, okay, 56, thank you, Gina. <laughs> Oh, that's a, the, to me, that's a challenge. Go for them. Yes. Encourage those people to jump on board for October. Oh, let's give her a big hand. Thank you, Gina. All right. All right. And next we have our organizational leader at Champion. Uh, absolutely number one in the region. Let's find out from her what she's doing with her private business and team business. And let's give it up for Ellen Lewis, three star director. Something I think all of us have experienced, right? You're trying to date a party with somebody, and they're like, I don't do those parties, right? Okay, <laughs> that's okay, we love them still. Um, you can offer pay it forward parties. 
All right, so with the Pay It Forward party, you are making the recommendation that they can pick their favorite charity and donate that Tupperware to the favorite charity instead of getting it free for their home. All right, so there's so many different ways that you can do Pay It Forward. You can create a big event for it. It could be as simple as a Tupperware party. It's just the host credits are going towards the organization. Um, I've given a lot of Tupperware to women's shelters. It's a great place to start, and I always kind of make that recommendation if they're kind of struggling, but most people have a charity that's near and dear to their heart, and they're always willing to do something for that charity. So it's a great way to get that in when they were trying to put you out. All right. Thank you, Ellen. That is awesome. And you know what? It is so fun to get those people that are like that on your side. It's just so rewarding, and you do it by never building a fair bridge. And what I mean by that, um, if somebody says, oh, I don't do those parties, say, fine, I totally get it. That is not building a not building a wall. I'm sorry, don't build a wall. When you build a wall, in order to date them, you have to get over top of that wall. So if you say something like, oh, come on, you can do it. You, you had a da 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 the party. I remember you invited me six years ago or whatever. Whatever you do to build a wall is something you have to climb over. So don't build walls. Instead, you say, oh, it's fine, no worries. Have you ever thought about paying it forward? and you go right in with Ellen's idea. Or you could say something like, what I love right now with her cake decorator, I want you all to spend five minutes on Pinterest tomorrow, not now. Uh, five minutes on Pinterest, find all kinds of cute cake ideas. It is so easy to decorate cute cakes and we have that new pen, we have our pastry bag. Do a cake decor party where you're actually gonna bake the cakes and bring the cakes. It takes you nine minutes in the microwave to bake a cake. It's a box cake mix, it's not hard. Make a cake, take the cakes, and you do the cake decor parties. I'm telling you, your girlfriends are gonna love a cake decor party. Or you can do a sip and dip. And a sip and dip is super fun with sipping our cold brew coffee and dipping in our pumpkin dips and all kinds of fun dips, a caramel dip, whatever you love, a sip and dip or cake decor. Make it fun. If it's catchy, it's fun to say and it's fun to invite. It's fun for them to invite. And they can't say no to fun. Everybody likes fun. And everybody likes friends. And so make it something they want to invite people to. And then you'll date the, they'll have those parties. And don't even call it a party. Call it the cake decor get, get together or the sip and dip uh, social. Don't call it a party. I know it's five letters, but they think it's four. Okay, it's a four letter word. Guys, don't do it. All right, thank you Rocket Region. Get excited and make it happen.